Hi teachers! Today let's learn a fun, interactive, animated educational game for your students. The way the game is played is like this. Your student is supposed to identify and click only those items that are recyclable. If he or she clicks on a non-recyclable item, then it will explode. Now let us see how this goes. Now let me click on one of the recyclable item, say mirror. Now I am not able to click immediately, so you can see that I have clicked it and that immediately gets sucked out and is not there on the scene anymore. If I were to click on a non-recyclable item, like say styrofoam, you can see that it explodes and it still remains on your screen. So it reinforces to your students that this is a non-recyclable item. Then I will go further and I am going to click here. Yes, I have removed another thing from the screen which is a recyclable item. Let me click again. Oh, this is a non-recyclable item and I still have this available. So I keep remembering that this is a non-recyclable item. So I continue doing this. Say this is recyclable. And let us say this is recyclable. And I keep going. For example, this is recyclable. Now at this point, we are left with just non-recyclable items on the screen. Your student can raise the hand and say, now all of these are non-recyclable, so I am not going to continue further. And that is when you give a round of applause to the student and say that indeed all the items that are on the screen are all non-recyclable. So the remaining students watch and learn that these are the non-recyclable items. Now naturally you can go on to the next slide which has 10 more items and ask another student to pick the recyclable items only. Now the best part about this game is it is extremely easy for any teacher to create it in PowerPoint. It doesn't take much time at all and you can add a bit of time element to this. So you can ask your students to identify all the recyclable items within say one minute. Now at that time when the person tries to click you can see because of this random movement it is not very easy to click on the items and that builds the tension. So you make the game so much fun to play at the same time your students learn and that is the best way to teach isn't it so let us learn how to create this beautiful simple and highly interesting minefield game in powerpoint but before that i am ram gopal from presentationprocess.com the creator of ram gopal's powerpoint mastery program a comprehensive and creative powerpoint training program for professionals here i am on a new slide the first step is to pick up a rounded rectangular box from rectangles in the auto shapes gallery. So let me click on this and then draw the rounded rectangular shape. You can write your text here. Let me write a recyclable item. In this case, it is a pet bottle. Now you can of course increase the size of this font and make it clearly visible and you can adjust the size of this rectangle. Now I'm going to make this into a dark color. Go to shape outline and say no outline and I'm going to add animation to this. So let us go to animations, keep the animation pane open so you can see what I'm doing here. Let us add an exit animation and the exit animation that I want is in more exit effects and it is called as dissolve out. That is the dissolve out animation. Let me say OK. Now let us go to the animation event and let us add sound as well. So here you can see in the effect there is sound. In this case, I'm going to use the sound of suction. So it is sucked out of the screen and let us say OK. So you can see that is how it just gets sucked out. But then this animation needs to happen on a click. So we are going to go to trigger and say on click off and say rectangle rounded corners 4. You don't have to select title 3 which, is, which represents this. So let us go to rectangle rounded corners 4. Now this is an interactive shape. So when I go to slideshow on clicking this you can see that it just gets sucked out of the screen. The next step is to create another rounded rectangular shape by pressing ctrl D and then we are going to change this to something which is non-recyclable. In this case, I'm going to say styrofoam. Now I'm going to make changes to the animation here. Select this animation event. The animation that I want to go in for is fill color animation. You can see that it doesn't vanish, but the background color changes. So go to fill color, go to effect options and you can change this to say dark red. So that is what happens. Now the sound is of that suction, but that is not what we want. We want the sound to be of explosion. Now before that, let me reduce the duration to 0.5 seconds so it doesn't really take too much time. And then go to effect options 
and go to the sound and change the sound to explosion and say ok. So that is the sound. So we have two elements on our slide. One goes away on clicking, another explodes and stays on the screen. Now I am going to introduce a random movement so it becomes a little bit challenging for the students to click on these items. So let us select both of these. Add animation. You are not going to select anything from here because that will replace the earlier animation. So add animation and this time I am going to choose motion paths and I am going to choose this one called loops. So can you see here that is the animation and this needs to be rather slow. So instead of the duration of 2 seconds I am going to have this for 5 seconds and these two animations need to happen with previous and let us say the second one has a delay of 0.5 seconds and this animation needs to loop endlessly till the end of slide. So let us select both of these, go to the effect options and go to timing and say we need to repeat this until end of slide and you say ok. Now let us go to slideshow and see what happens here. Can you see this has started a little late and you can see that all of these are just going around in some crazy loop and that introduces a bit of tension. Now on clicking one of them it goes away and on clicking another one it converts into a red colored button and it stays on the screen. So this is beautiful so far. Now all I need to do is to replicate the recyclable and non-recyclable items on my slide. Now to distinguish a non-recyclable item, I am going to select this and give it an outline, say orange outline and make it thicker. After I create the slide, I am going to remove the outline. So this is just for our convenience. Now let us select this and let us add another recyclable item. So let me go here maybe a glass and let me add a non-recyclable item. Let me go here and say dry leaves. Let me pick up a recyclable item maybe something like food tin and a non-recyclable item maybe something like cigarette end. So we've got six items, three of them non-recyclable, three of them recyclable. Now let me select all of them and then go to shape outline and say no outline. Now your students can't really distinguish and we are ready to play the game but before that the slide should not advance on clicking anywhere else apart from just these buttons. So how do we ensure that? It's very simple, you go to transitions and say here advanced slide, uncheck this option called on mouse click. So that means the slide will not advance and that is exactly what you want. So let us go to slideshow and see what happens. You can see that there are various items that are moving around. Now naturally I would go ahead and mix things up. So let me move this here and then move this here and move this somewhere down and I can uh, place this. So make sure that the loop doesn't go out of the screen. So that is the idea. Maybe you can keep it here, here. So just move things around so they are all over your screen. And now let us go to slideshow and you can see that all kinds of things are happening on the screen and you're supposed to find the recyclable items within one minute. So let us see what happens here. So I'm going to click on this. Yeah, that is a good one. And let us see what happens here. Yeah, that is a good one. And here I am under pressure. So I'm going to click on this and that is showing here. So that is how I play the game. Isn't it simple? You can use this in n number of ways. For example, if you want your students to recognize prime numbers from non-prime numbers, you can use this game. And if you want your students to pick out the correctly spelt words from the incorrectly spelt words, you can use this game. Can you see there are so many ways you can use this and it will be a fun filled experience for you and your students and they will learn and remember whatever that you teach for a long time. If you are a teacher and you want to take full advantage of the power of PowerPoint then I highly recommend that you pick up this product called Teachers Interactive Bundle which has 140 PowerPoint templates for teachers which makes your slides look attractive and engaging, 25 interactive tabs so you make your lessons interactive and 220 interactive quiz templates pack that really adds fun and games to your class. I will leave a link to this product in the description box below the video. Click on the link, check out more details about this product. And finally, if you liked this tutorial, then you will really love this other tutorial that we have created for you called Convert Boring Slide to Interactive Quiz Game in PowerPoint. 
you will learn another fun way to use powerpoint in an interesting way in your classroom i will leave a link to this right here on your screen you can click on the link and watch that video next and learn something interesting to make your classes more engaging i'll see you inside that video